Hi, I'm Kyle Maloney, co-founder and CEO of Tarzir. And we've built an optical-based system that offers fully autonomous detection, identification, and tracking of rogue small UAS. Our software is called AirScout and it utilizes state-of-the-art artificial intelligence and computer vision. We founded the company four years ago as graduate students at Stanford University. Since then, we've raised multiple rounds of investment from top venture capitalists, and we grew revenue 15x in 2020. We're super excited about the possibility of deepening our relationship with the U.S. Army. This is the recently introduced Cube UAV. It is specifically designed to revolutionize warfare. The Cube UAV is four feet wide, can fly for 30 minutes at a speed of 80 miles per hour, and can carry nearly seven pounds of explosives. The coffee table sized UAS can be guided to a target nearly 40 miles away. It's essentially the equivalent of a small, slow, and inexpensive cruise missile. This is just one example of how a small UAS threat is fast evolving and increasing in sophistication. There are hundreds of others. And unfortunately, the problem hasn't been entirely solved by existing technologies. Radar struggles with low and slow flyers and small cross sections. Radio frequency sensors miss RF dark drones. Acoustic sensors have limited range and struggle with fixed wing flyers. There is no silver bullet. There is a massive need to bring to bear more sensors specifically designed to defend against this threat. And these sensors need to be adaptable so they can evolve as the threat evolves. On the commercial side, there's also a massive problem. Every 12 months, there are over 2,000 drone sightings in restricted airspace around U.S. airports. And while airports have a very real and serious need, jails and prisons have an equally immediate need. I have personally spoken with several hundred correctional facilities, and over 70% of these facilities have confirmed they have a problem with drones delivering contraband. For that reason, jails and prisons is our beachhead market, followed shortly thereafter by airports and sports stadiums. AirScout is an artificial intelligence-powered software that sits on commercial off-the-shelf EOIR cameras. It enables these cameras to autonomously detect, identify, and track rogue SUAS, sending operators automated alerts. AirScout software is open ar ar architecture and hardware agnostic. It was designed to easily work with other cameras, sensors, and systems. For example, AirScout software can function on existing cameras and infrastructure, enhancing legacy systems with new artificial intelligence and airspace awareness capabilities. In other words, AirScout can work like a software upgrade. In terms of configurations, the software works primarily in two ways. First, as an end-to-end -end optical only detection, identification, and tracking system as shown here. This is a two-layer system. The first layer is detection cameras that allow AirScout's AI to continuously scan a designated airspace for drone threats. Detected threats are passed to the second layer, a pan tilt zoom camera that further investigates the detection, identifies, and if relevant, tracks the threat, sending the operator a pre-verified drone threat alert. And the AirScout software is run on a standard server with GPUs. All of this is done with machine intelligence and requires no human intervention at all. The system can be manned with a human on the loop as just described, or the system can be run completely unmanned. The next configuration is where the PTZ camera layer, the AirScout system just discussed, is unbundled and paired with other detection sensors such as radar, radio frequency, and acoustic sensors. The primary detection sensors detect threats and the AirScout PTZ autonomously identifies and tracks relevant threats, filtering out any false positives from the detection sensors. We call this configuration AirScout Verify. The image here shows a radar detecting threat and subsequently queuing the AirScout PTZ to further investigate, identify, and track relevant threats, providing the operator with a pre-verified threat. For the U.S. Army, this means a new paradigm in counter SUAS on two dimensions. First, optical sensors can finally add a detection layer to bolster traditional detection methodologies such as radar, RF, and acoustic, and can detect threats that could go unnoticed by traditional sensors. 
For example, if you had an autonomous fixed-wing drone with a small cross-section, that could bypass every traditional detection method on, methodology. AI optical, on the other hand, would detect it and classify it. Even if AirScout has never seen a threat before, it can adapt because AirScout doesn't rely on a library or database of known threats. AirScout understands general characteristics rather than reverse engineering known threats. This means AirScout's AI detects and classifies drone threats it has never seen before. This ensures the U.S. Army keeps pace with adversaries and evolves as adversaries evolve. Secondly, Successful positive identification of drone threats continues to be a major gap in existing technologies. Using machine intelligence to pre-verify threats automates this critical step and unlocks airspace awareness, leading to lower cognitive burden on the operator and enabling the operator to make her quicker decisions with fewer errors, ultimately improving base and force protection. And we have a team that is uniquely qualified to attack this problem and commercialize this technology. Our founding team brings together a Stanford MBA who has commercialized over 20 security technology products and an aerospace engineering PhD with multiple counter UAS patents and who helped co-architect the CUAS system used at the 41st G7 Summit. Our artificial intelligence team is led by a PhD in AI who was previously a senior AI engineer in autonomous driving. In 2020, we demonstrated significant revenue growth growing revenue 15 times over 2019. And we were well capitalized by top technology investors such as Stanford University Angels and Alchemist. Our current commercial projects include prisons and several of the largest sporting events in the world. As I mentioned earlier, jails and prisons is our beachhead commercial market. After jails and prisons, we're going after airports and critical infrastructure, which represents more than a $30 billion opportunity. At a high level, we plan to use the X-Tech search platform to engage with the Army SMT community and with identified units and offices that have a known expertise in CUAS. Further, we envision leveraging our work with the Army to bring in other known interested units and offices across the tri service and potentially find a phase three transition partner for our current Air Force SIPR. Finally, the long-term goal is to join programs or records identified by the Army's JCO, such as the FS LID, Ninja, and L Mattis programs. Over the next 18 months, we plan to take concrete steps towards achieving our long-term goal, joining a program or record. We plan to close our Series A venture capital fundraise, and we plan to use the X Tech Search platform to collaborate with the Army S&D community for technology benchmarking, and we'd like to work with identified units and offices that have a known interest experience in counter UAS for demonstration and to capture feedback and suggestions for improvement. We plan to target the Army's counter SUAS JCO, the RCCTO, the Rapid Equipping Force, Army Futures Command, 94th Army Air and Missile Defense Command, 4th Infantry, 82nd Airborne, and Army Special Operations Command, to name a few. Finally, we plan to explore teaming agreements with larger strategic partners that will create opportunities to participate in formal Army technology demonstrations events through the Army JCO, MFIX, and others. Through our participation in these events, we would like to study and integrate with key command and control systems such as FOD C2 and Medusa, better position the company to join a program or record in the next few years. And with that, I'd like to thank you for your time and attention. I'm happy to take any questions now. Thanks.